video clip of where that three-year-old baby's hands was tied behind his back and she threw him in a swimming pool in the backyard. We received on May 1st a call. Uh, I'm sorry, at May 1st, the child went to the hospital. So why did the child go to the hospital, Heart of Florida and ha Haines City, but they live in Davenport? The little fella got off of the bus. He was happy. Everything seemed to be all right. The 16-year-old noticed he was happy. They were home. Patricia, the 16-year-old, and now the little dead fellow who's four. The 16-year-old notices later on that he's lethargic, that he's not responding. Patricia says he's faking it. Give him something to eat. He can't eat. He goes unconscious. The 16-year-old has been saying he needs to go to the hospital. He needs to go to the hospital. He needs to go to the hospital. Heart of Florida thinks he has a significant issue, sends him to Orlando Health. Orlando Health tries to work with him and ultimately he dies. He goes to the medical examiner's office and that's when we get involved a couple of days later. We find injuries where this child has been beaten in addition to the video we found in the investigation of his hands tied behind him and thrown into the pool. We found an injury where his spleen suffered a significant tear. The medical examiner said it could have been nothing else other than an immediate hard strike to the abdomen. And as the autopsy went on, they found different layers of bruises and injuries from past beatings. And he's dead. He's dead because she 